you. I'm really glad we got to hang out. It made the con way cooler than last year. I'm glad I can help do a bit to help with that. Even cooler than getting your jacket signed. <laughs> your choice. Um, hmm. Let's see. I'm choosing this one. This date was your idea, Sky. So I'm really glad you're enjoying it. It was really cool to see your friends and you're adorable when you're all hyped up about something you enjoy. Honestly, I was kind of worried. This place is even busier than the mall. And the gaming room was more crowded and crazy than the dance floor at Amorous. Yeah, I guess it's different though. Hmm. I didn't really know anyone at the mall. I don't know, it's just different, right? Someone could be in the mall because they need to buy a new, I don't know, a new suit for work or something. Or they're just pissed and trying to quickly get lunch before going back to work. Everyone is here to have fun and they're here because they like games and anime and stuff. That makes sense, though. I guess most people in Amorous are there because they want they want to have fun too. I guess, yeah. But they're looking for real sex and drinking fun. I never really well. Sky hugged her balled up jacket to her chest, still held loosely in her hands after dancing up a storm. You never drank? Uh -huh. No, I've drank. I'm a lightweight though, and not in the fun dancing about way. I just feel kind of dizzy and sick. Good cover though, for the other thing. I heard it. Sky, you know I'd never do something you didn't really, f you were not ready for. If you didn't wanna. No! <laughs> I mean. I'd want to, you know. It's not like I'm a nun or anything. Sheesh. She snickered a little, trying to hide her blush behind her jacket a little. The spoken admission seemed accidental, but I couldn't help but feel part of her, part of her hot flush. Blush. Creepy, yeah, by the looks of it, hot <laughs> flush creeping over <laughs> me too. Oh, just feeling both the blush. Not a nun, so. She had some kind of experience, just not with someone else. Heh, <laughs> well, good. Jeez. I guess that's not the right way to say it. I mean, it's okay, it's not something you're worried about. She... Sky bit her lip and chuckled under her breath under, into her hoodie. Oh? Anyway, I don't know. At least at Amorous, there's a bunch of people all trying and failing to dance. It was a little scarier to be suddenly up on stage with everyone just watching. Fun, but kind of surprising. You don't seem to be like crowds usually. I guess I didn't think about it. Anyways, I'm sure most of the people there were just waiting for the turn on the machine. <laughs> Drop it. Okay. Drop it like it's hot. No. <laughs> I mean, she is kind of hot. Yeah. I guess that's true. I don't know. What is it? Her eyes were on mine, reading a little concerned. Come on, you can tell me. I don't know. It was pretty brave to get up in front of people like that. Psh, I really don't think they were watching us. You really think the cute girl in the cami and shorts dancing around had nothing to do with it? I know the outfit is kind of showy, but it's a showy place. It's about the full markings anyway. The character doesn't... Doesn't he... doesn't he even wear clothes? It's a game for kids. And a character with a bunch of body pillows. You know you look extremely good in that outfit, right? What? She immediately flushed and almost took a step back. I mean, you look really cute, Sky, shaking your hips on a dancing game, especially in that top. I'm not trying to be weird about it, I'm just saying. 
If you don't like how I look, I... <laughs> what? What did I do now? Nothing. You're just really cute when you're being innocent. Sky, it's totally the opposite. I'm not trying to call you out. I'm saying you look really sexy, and there's plenty of people who'd admire that, even on a normal day. It's not like that changes when you're dancing around in a lower top. She huffed and crossed her arms over her chest, as though the concept of her bust was alien to her. It made it seem very young somehow. I don't know. Jeez, now you have me all self-conscious. She quickly slipped her arms into her hoodie, though she had at least stepped back beside me and then seemed cool to her head. Sorry for being a freak about it. What? Come on, Sky is fine. I like that you've got a secret kind of confidence to wear stuff like that and not worry about what other people think about it. Really? Because it kind of sounded like you were calling me naive. I mean, the shoe fits. <laughs> what? <laughs> naive in a good way, like unashamed. Even if you're shy, you look good enough to draw a crowd and you weren't even trying. Maybe, but maybe I don't want to draw a crowd just because I'm a girl in tight shorts. <laughs> you're clearly not flaunting it on purpose, though. It's just natural to you. She sighed again, snickering under her breath, and stepped back in beside me, apologetically, as we watched a few of the groups walking by in a quick contempl um, contemplation for a moment. Jeez, I'm really bad at taking a compliment, huh? <laughs> <clears throat> a little, but I do mean it. You look great. Great enough that people check me out all the time? Really? Really. I noticed it in the gaming store when we were browsing. Those girls from the high school weren't exactly calling you ugly. Now you're gonna make me really paranoid. Deal with it. No. She sighed with a nervous laugh. I held out I held out a hand. To my surprise, she took it, squeezing my fingers tight. If we weren't at the con. <laughs> and if we weren't at the con. You know, an outfit like that would be such a tease to wear out if we were on a date alone beach, right? Well, I'm glad you think so. You don't seem very convinced. Too soon to say lusty things like that, huh? I'm convinced. It's not too far, even if I'm not used to hearing someone say that. I don't know how I'd feel about that kind of thing in public, though. Especially around my friends. Hmm. That's fair. Sky leaned in and kissed my cheek, snickering. Maybe more of a in private kind of thing? Now you're teasing on purpose. Maybe. How dare you. She sidled. She slid in. Yeah, she slid a little. She slid in a little closer, smiling as we took a moment. Just people watching side by side and hand in hand. For too long, a booming announcement fought a fought over the rabble of conversation on overhead speakers. Oh shoot! We must have lost track of time. They're, get, they're getting ready to take the photos. <laughs> Sky, there you are. Hey, Hane. Han, Hane. Hey, Spectra. Do you mind if I drag Sky away a little? You're not allowed in the photo room unless you're in a costume. Really? That's kind of lame. Yeah, those are the rules. It's dressed up only to get a good photo of the characters and not get really crowded in there with other fans flashing their cameras, too. <laughs> it sounded like you were gone for a while. You're going to be gone for a while, right? Yeah. The photos alone could take 45 minutes. There's usually lots of people. Afterwards, there's a short... Uh, there's sort of a catwalk procession thing that you can line up for. It's a pretty long parade around a convention. That can take an hour, though. I couldn't ask you to wait that long for me. 
some people hang around and take photos of us in parade. Thought it'd get pretty packed. I won't get, I won't get you crushed for some photos, Spectra. There'll be lots of costumes, which can be fun, but it's your call. Hmm. I'm gonna take some photos. Hmm. Sure, I've got my phone. I'll look at, around the con some more before the parade starts. Then I'll snap some shots from my phone. I'll be sure to show you later. Awesome! I can't wait to see you there. <laughs> I never had someone in the crowd taking pictures for me before. Hey, before I go, there's something I want to give you. Oh, don't say it like that. Sky handed over her jacket. She unzipped it and gestured for me to hold up my my arm as if she put it on me. It fits all right, though so I felt a little strange wearing it after Hayne had said that it was autographed made it really rare. But that melted away when Sky wrapped it in me, around me in a loving hug, kissing on my jaw tenderly as she did. Ooh, I think this looks even better on you, Spectra. Now you're sort of in a costume too. I'll lend it to you, but you've got to give me a call sometime. You can't, you can bring it back to me at my place. Hmm. Whoa, what's going on here? I'm getting romantic vibes. Vibe check. Hush up, Hane. Maybe I just trust Spectra with my stuff. <laughs> yeah, but the your house part? Bow, chicka, wow, wow. Come on, guys, we gotta get going. Alright, Spectra, we really gotta get going. Thanks again for everything. No! I ended up killing time around the booths. I didn't. I even. I even did end up picking up a few games. Maybe something I could play with Sky later. I had to admit, the place wasn't quite as fun browsing around by myself. Sky's starstruck reactions to some of the f more famous artists and voice actors was really part of the fun. Though I guess if I had known some of them, I had the same reaction. After an hour, I found a good strategic place to set up on the on a bend in the cosplay parade path, where I'd get a good uninterrupted shot of the cosplayers. It took a little time standing there, some of, some sort of hold up in the photo room, but eventually all manner of creative cosplayers started to make their way along the parade her, parade circuit. It took a while for them to get to me, but Sky was right. It was pretty cool to see some of the more famous characters I knew brought to life by the cosplayers. Especially the ones who threw in little gestures and pulled faces to act out their characters. I was sad to see the parade was being led by the top five cosplayers and Lexi, Hayne, and Sky wasn't among them. That is sad thing. She wasn't the top five this time. Aww. Sky was there in the parade though, looking happy as ever. They had arranged for the group into the games genres. And then she was in the back of some of the other brawn characters throwing fake attacks at the audience and pretending to be to beef it out with the other cast members. As she passed, she threw me a playful kiss and a wink before sh soldering off, talking about a cute picture to remember the afternoon by, even if it was getting too late. By the time the parade was done, the sun was starting to set. Sky insisted that I kept her jacket safe and brought it to the next time we hung out. We shared one long, one last hug. Interrupted by Sky getting a call from her parents to get a ride home. I promised I wouldn't keep her waiting too long on the getting the jacket back to her. Did I seriously get invited to her house? That's all I could focus on for the rest of the evening. I assume this meant a little more than just how she treats all of her friends. I guess there's a only, re only one real way to find out. I should give her a call when I'm ready to head over. At least I had a memento of her jacket for now. It smelled a little like Sky's perfume. I was sure to fold it up safe in my drawer so it didn't actually get wait, get washed, ruining the autograph. All right, that's it. That date done. Woo! You want to get another one done? Yeah. Okay, let's call off Sky. There should be a little bit more left, right? Yeah, there's just the visiting Sky. Yeah, might as well get on done. Nudge, nudge. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Ha <laughs> ha.
Here goes nothing. Ring, ring. Spectra? I was hoping you would call. I have the rest of the day off. Do you want to come over? Hmm. Hell yeah. Why would I call and then say actually and then something else? What the hell? Mm. I can't wait to see you again. It's I've been taking care of your jacket. I know how much it means to you. I knew it'd be safe with you. Anyways, getting the jacket back is least important than seeing you again, silly. I'll text you my address. Come by whenever you're ready. Anytime before dark is good, before my parents get home. Yeah, let's think about that for a second. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'll see you soon then. Drive safe. From the outside, nothing really differentiates Sky's home from any other places on the street. It was a nice neighborhood, but one of the streets was where every house looked basically the same. I was only able to pick out her house out of the number that she told me and the missing car. After I, after knocking and waiting a little, I was starting to get paranoid that no one would be home and she was just pulling my leg out about the address. The door started to open and there she was, a smile beaming and embracing me with a warm hug before either of us said a word. After a quick tour of her living room, she took me upstairs and sat me on her bed, asking me to wait a while while she went to fresh up, to fetch something. The room was nice, pretty cozy, and definitely the room of an anime nerd from all the posters and Japanese stuff. Uh, <clears throat> got your eyes closed. Oh crap, I was meant to do that? Okay, ready. Okay! Here, this is for you! This guy was holding a fairly large gift box in her hands, carefully taped with wrapping paper, complete with a card tucked into the neatly tied bow. Sky, you really didn't have to do get me something. I wanted to make a token out of a friendship. Anyway, I feel bad for cutting our time together short at the convention. I made it all about me when I should have been about us. About us? <laughs> I don't know, I had plenty of fun. Well, are you gonna open it? I'll just ramble nervously all afternoon if you don't. Hmm, I refuse. <laughs> I think you can, it just doesn't look bad. Hmm. I got myself comfortable atop her bed, plopping the present in my lap. The ribbon came off easily, and I started to peel away at the wrapping to get an idea of what's inside. Not gonna read the card first? I guess you're right. She's treating me like it's my birthday. She's obviously kind of nervous about it. Though. I wonder what it could be. I picked up her small card and flicked it open to read aloud. Dear Spectra, Thank you for being there for me. The last few dates we've had together have been the most fun I've ever had in ages. I hope it's not too early to say that I find you a very sweet and caring person. I... I think I might be falling oh. in love with you. Huh, Sky? It's... it's true. I've just been too nervous to say something, like, official. Sky began to blush intently, rubbing her hands together, avoiding eye contact whenever I would take a break from looking at her card. If you want to stay friends, I totally understand. From your number one fan, Sky. I didn't know what to say. Ah! Oh! <laughs> ah! <laughs> Unwrapping the box, I looked up to check on Sky. She seemed to be getting her smile back on now that she was seeing me open up her present. Opening the box itself, I reached in blindly, pulling out all the contents. I felt so it felt soft and plushy, like a stuffed animal. Is this what I think it is? I pulled out the small stuffed animal. It was a cute articulated one made of soft fabric. What immediately struck me was the hair and markings were all the same as mine, even the eye color. This guy had recreated me as a doll. I made a plushy version of you. Everything from your eye color to the tips of your to- Um. <laughs> Whew, okay. Um. I've been working at it a little every night since our second date together. I gotta admit, 
It does look like me. Maybe a little bit more cute and cuddly version. Thank you, Sky. So much. That's very thoughtful. So, you like it then? It's a little unusual. <laughs> yeah, especially my toes. When have you ever seen my toes? I mean, technically they haven't shown us wearing shoes. Yeah. I think it's awesome. I've never had something like this before. You did a fantastic job. I wasn't aware you were so good at sewing. It would be right at home in one of those plushy booths at the convention. Oh god, I probably seem like a massive dork for making that. I like to make my friends gifts myself. I feel like they're, they're more special that way. Like I said in the card, I... Um, I wanted to show how special you are to me. That's precious, guy. I totally oh. see that, guy. Hey, don't be so nervous. I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you, if you didn't think you were special, right? Oh, hey. Not exactly the best return present, but <laughs> don't let me forget your jacket. Oh, my jacket! Thanks for bringing that back, Spectra. Thanks for looking after it, too. Hey, um... No, she put the jacket back on! There was cleavage to be seen! <gasps> yeah? Is it okay if I take a shower? I feel kind of blah all of a sudden. Make yourself at home, of course. Feel free to look around and stuff. I won't be too long. There's just something I want to do. Hmm. Okay, sure, Sky. There's probably a lot to unload at once. I'm still kind of processing your sweet card, too. Take as much time as you need. Despite it clearly taking some courage to write that card, Sky gave me another hug, just as loving as the one she gave me at the front door, before quickly scurrying away into the corridor to grab her towel. I could hear her turning on the shower through the adjusted the adjacent wall. There was a quick there was a quiet click of the lock. I'm sure she's okay in there. Maybe I'll check on her if I'm waiting too long. Is she upset at me? I should have said I loved her right back when I read the card. It probably would have made her feel a lot better. Shit. Did I blow it? I thought about it for a few minutes. I didn't hear anything from Skye. Guess she offered for me to look around. I could also check on her. Well, there's one thing I want to look at before we go on. Oh? Huh? The Mewtwo. Oh. A, a risque poster yeah. of a popular video game character laying nude in the field of grass. <gasps> she must have been very proud of this one. It's even framed. Oh my. Yep. Panties. Oh, okay. <laughs> I guess not. Clicky boo. Oh. Wow, there are some actually pretty erotic looking panties in here. I should probably close this one. Anything else before we leave? Nah. Oh, okay. Because she's got toys. Yeah, toys. I think she has a toy in there. Mm. The water was still running. I couldn't hear anything from her, her on the inside, so I knocked on the door softly. Sky, are you in here? I'll just be a moment. The shower shut off, letting me hear Sky fumble for a towel. After a moment, she approached the door and clicked it open from the out from the inside, leaving me to push it open. I wanted you to see me for what I really am. This guy stepped out, still damp, toweling off her hair. The bathtub was emptying of blue-tinted water, leaving her unmarked by dye. Would you have still picked me at the club if I looked like this? I'm not a beautiful golden fox. I'm not even a royal blue. I'm just gray. The blandest color of fox you can get. <clears throat> you are still adorable. Yeah. I didn't want to keep lying to you like that. I'm really just boring gray. There really isn't anything special about me. I don't even have an identity of my own outside of dyeing my fur to look like other people. I just... I feel like all my friends don't really like me. They like the personas I portray. They think they like the skimpy clothes I wear. <clears throat> I didn't want to get close to you and have you like me because I can, like, I can be like Luca or Remy Mom. 
or any of those other characters. This is why I just say the actual names that they're refer- referencing, like Remamon is Renamon and Luca mm. is Lu- Lucario. Yeah. Lucario! Whenever I try to be myself, people just treat me like a big loser. Mm, not this loser. How was Awestruck? How long has she been holding on to this? Have you ever told anybody what you told me just now? N- no. I wanted to prove how much I trust you. I just admitted my feelings for you, but I don't want you to feel the same way for the wrong reasons. I'm the only one in my group of friends that dies the fall. I hate how I look naturally. It triggers bad memories. As soon as my fall die begins to fade, I get another and start a new look. Sky was shivering a little, her arms going to her body for warmth. Her fur was still damp from the shower. She simply looked looked to me shyly, rejecting herself as if she ever stood there beautiful as ever. How about we get you dry? We can talk through this in your room. It can't be comfortable air drying like this. To be honest, I didn't really have much of a shower. I mostly just stood under water and cried until you came in. Damn sky. <laughs> There's no need to shame yourself. I went through the same stuff in high school too. Most people I knew thought I was a real weirdo. I didn't really know who I was. Sky, I hope you know being really talented at cosplay in, is an art in itself. You make all the costumes and you're into all this interesting stuff. That's gotta count for something. I don't know about being gray makes you boring. And if it does, if it means you can dye your fur to look like other other characters you want to dress up as, that's better than having to dress up around stripes or anything or something like that, right? I shut the bathroom door to keep the warm air in, walking over to the bathtub to get her towel. I unpeeled her arms from her waist, helped her wrap the towel in her arms, drawing her shoulders as I um, stepped close. I'm, I'm getting you all wet. It's okay. We can clean off. We can clean off together. It's much easier to talk when you're not freezing cold. Sky let out a deep sigh, her weight leaning on my chest. Holding me, I helped her get dry. My top wicking. Top wicking? Okay, some of the wet from her hair. Oh, taking some of the wet from her hair. I'm sorry for exploding on you, Spectra. I swear, I'm not always like this. I ended up having a big fight with my parents about how I might be seeing someone, and it got me thinking about how much anyone really knows about me outside of playing characters. Hmm. She sighed softly, realizing what she had said about telling her parents about us as heat rose to her face. Hmm? Yeah, I don't know, but sometimes it does that. Ha! Uh, I wanted to wear the top you said was sexy and be all tempting and stuff, but I check it out on the tempting part. Hmm, definitely not doing the close friends part. Mm. We learned from Sayori. Yes. I know telling parents can be stressful, but it makes me really happy to hear that you tell them about me. You know, I wouldn't be here if, it, if I didn't love you. I think you're special all by yourself, Sky. I've seen you be shy around new people. I've seen you bouncing around cutely to your idols. I don't think either of those things were you acting in character. I think that's just cute and passionate person you are. Sky was quiet. Maybe she believed me, maybe not. She didn't pull away at least, as I decided to be bold, leaning in to share a tender kiss. Sky was quiet. Maybe she believed me, maybe not. Maybe she believed me, maybe not. That really sounded really close to the same line I just read. Yeah. She didn't pull away at the very least. As I decided to be bold, I clenched the loofah within a tight fist, wrenching the suds all over, um, all over her backside. I left the loofah fall into the water, pulling at her feet. I think this is a line from something it's not supposed to be. Hmm. There is no one else I want to be with right now but you. Sky broke from the kiss. Smiling, ten- smiled tenderly. She seemed a little warmer as she stepped back, looking to the blue dye still draining from the tub. 
Thank you, Spectra. You know that means a lot to heal. I should probably clean the dye out of the shower. And I've made you all damp too. Can you give me a little bit to clean up here and I'll meet you in the bedroom? Yeah, her eye color is really seeable now. Mm-hmm. Sure. I guess you should dry off better too. I'll wait for you in your bedroom, okay? One quick thing before you go. I want to ask you a question. Be honest. What color fall did you like me in, in like me in, in the most? Ah. <laughs> Your choice. You don't need any costumes or fur dye to be beautiful, Sky. You're perfect to me just as you are. That is so sweet. Maybe you're right. I don't need to be someone else all the time. Why don't you lay down on my bed, and I'll be with you soon. Click. I sat back on the bed, a hand to all the pat dried light dampness from hugging Sky from her with her wet fur. I could barely stop my mind from running along with a heartbeat cuddling of the Sky in her bathroom. Certainly had my blood up. I was happy to smooth things out with her. I guess being in costume a lot can really wear on you. No matter how unusual the gift was, I was still impressed and touched how, over how good a job she did making a plush version of me. I placed it on the pillow beside me and rested my eyes for a moment. Wake up, sleepyhead! I didn't even realize I had dozed off. Her fur was shimmering silver now that it was dry. Yeah, it does that. Mm -hmm. Sky was standing over me at this point, putting her hand firmly on my chest. She climbed one knee on the bed, and she made quick work of my towel, tossing it onto the floor. This is most certainly not the line we're supposed to be reading. I had <laughs> some time to think about it. I'm ready for you now. Oh, well, it's my tone. It's, yeah, it is. Oh, I've had some time to think about it. I'm ready for you now. It's my tone to make you feel better. Yeah, this is definitely a line from an inappropriate scene. Hmm. Woo woo! <laughs> How does it look like in the uncensored version? As you can guess. Mm. Chesticles. Yay. Women parts. Woo woo! We spent a good hour cuddling before noticing the day was growing late. Yeah, sure, cuddling. Sunset was around the corner. We both agreed that it would be best greeting her parents another time, rather than explaining why her bathroom was a mess and my clothes were still damp. Yeah, I'm definitely not getting in trouble for my clothes and being damp. <laughs> I had a really great oh, time. Oh, it's my turn, it's my turn. You're right. Okay. Let me read the names. I had a really great time, Spectra. I'm sorry to rush you off, but I don't think my parents are quite ready to have the not a little girl anymore conversation with you here. <laughs> That's okay, Sky. Listen, since I'm rushing off, let's try to see each other again soon, okay? That sounds good to me. Hey, you also have to let me know if you have any other characters in mind you'd like to see me cosplay as. You can have your favorite character come visit for you for a while. <laughs> you know you don't need to get all that deep into gaming fantasies. Love you, Sky. Love you. Love you, Sky. Today has been really nice. I'll see you again soon, okay? I... You know I love you too, Spectra. I'm glad I could share this with you. Now she's just not on screen. Damn. This game's glitching the fuck out. I mean, it's kind of old now. Mm. After a tender goodbye kiss at the door, I rushed off with a skip in my step and a hug and a huge smile on my face. I really look forward to seeing Sky again.